This is my final vlog. Um, the film that I will be discussing is Death of a Tin Man, directed by Ray Tintori. At first glance, this short film appears to be a choppy and messy, not something you would normally want to pay $16 to see at a movie theater. However, in admiring the details present throughout this film, one can appreciate it for the fluid masterpiece it truly is. The film relies heavily on its visual art and abstract world that is created by the characters and the story to live within. With a slightly nonsensical narrative, the film is really about the tone and emotion that is conveyed. Tintori's lighthearted approach is used to convey that intended effect of the film. I will be talking about the mise-en-scene, which is largely created through the use of black and white film, the camera angles and shadows created by them, and the soundtrack utilized throughout the film. The short film takes place in a fictional rural American town in the 1930s. The story is centralized around the forever misunderstood theme of love. The main character, a disliked jump lumberjack named Bill, is in love with the pastor's daughter, Jane. After being cursed by the pastor, Bill begins to lose his limbs in freak accidents and slowly replaces them with tin limbs. Eventually, there is nothing left of Bill but tin and his heart. However, due to this curse, his old limbs are reincarnated into a sort of meat puppet with everything but the heart, but the heart, <laughs> and Jane falls in love with the heartless meat puppet, leaving the tin Bill struggling to regain her love. The film is shot entirely in black and white, which adds to the overarching theme of love because, ironically, love, as it turns out, is not black and white. The mise-en-scene is furthered through the use of very simple outfits worn by the actors which allow the audience to focus on what is occurring within the film and not what the actors are wearing. The black and white adds a sort of simplistic feel to the film. The black and white allows the viewers to focus on the small details occurring throughout the film as well as the shadows that this film technique creates which enhance the ambiance of the film. The shadows which are created by the lighting techniques used illustrate a change in tone within the film. Generally, the characters are portrayed in a bright light. However, when a harrowing event occurs, such as Bill losing yet another limb, the light within the scene disappears and the audience is left with shadows or the outline of that character, usually Bill. <laughs> Camera angles play a large role in developing the tone and atmosphere depicted throughout the film as well. The, character, or the camera is usually angled in one of three ways. One, at a wide angle in which the viewer can see the entire scene at a time. Two, as a certain character's point of view, allowing the audience to view the world from that character's perspective. Or three, from the ground looking upwards onto a character, creating a sort of all-encompassing tone and heroic stance, usually used on Bill as he is the hero of the story. The soundtrack, like in any movie, plays an important role within the film as well. The very first song, which is an upbeat, jolly song, is repeated multiple times throughout the film, creating that upbeat tone that the director Tintori is after. Furthermore, no music is played during dramatic scenes, which adds to the overall tension that these scenes are attempting to portray. And as the drama increases, the music will again fill up the background, sort of pushing the audience towards the action and further into it. This short film contains many film techniques and characteristics that we have discussed throughout this quarter. When I first saw this film, I was confused as to why it was considered a work of art. However, through this class, I have learned to appreciate movies for more than what they appear to be on the surface.